It's springtime, and well, it looks a little different here on the North Shore. <laughs> Spring in the North Shore is probably one of the most temperamental looking springs I have ever seen. It literally went from like, so much snow, to like, wow, beautiful sunny days, I can be in a crop top outside, to oh my god, it's still blizzarding as we speak right now. This past winter, I took a break from wolfing, mostly because it was really hard to even get down to the farm. I have been wanting to get my hands dirty back in the soil and just reconnect with life. And even with snow-covered fields, microgreens have given me that opportunity to start that growing in the spring process, even from the indoors. Inside, this farm shed holds so much magic that just can blossom in 12 to 14 days. Welcome to the life of microgreens. Do you ever just like put so much love into a plant and then you look at it and you're like, wow, it grew from this little tiny seed and with all this love and nurturing, it has blossomed into so much abundance in front of me. Growing microgreens has got me thinking and appreciating this Northwood spring. It's no wonder microgreens flourish in a germination chamber surrounded by warmth and love. They are under some grow lights where they're going to stay here probably for about another week. Yeah, so they're little, probably like little toddlers. They're almost going to go through their preteen stage, so I'm pretty freaking excited for them to grow. <laughs> Today we're going to take them and we're going to harvest them. Isn't that spectacular? Look how fluffy they are. I'm currently just taking the husks off of these sunflower microgreens and honestly this is so peaceful to me having the opportunity to connect myself with how my food is grown every single day even while being inside and getting to touch life like i'm touching life right now i'm touching the soil i'm touching green plants I don't think as adults we take enough time to explore and be curious about the world around us, especially when we have to work. Wolfing has allowed me to farm in the mornings, work in the afternoons, and really start my day with my farmer intentions of being connected to nature. And these beautiful microgreens! <laughs> now I have the, let's see, this is the red giant mustard. And this one is just so cute. They kind of remind me of like little four leaf clovers. I already started snipping around. Look at it, it's so cute in my hand. This one's so light and fluffy feeling. Oh my goodness. Like it kind of just feels like a bit of grass. Here's like the graveyard of all the harvested hay. It is snowing outside and I'm gonna take all of these leftover, these are the harvested microgreens, and I'm gonna go bring them outside to go compost them in a huge pile of snow. Now they are ready to be composted. <laughs> Last winter, I have been experiencing this natural inclination to want to hibernate and cozy up in my bed, to just like be by the fireplace. And it's spring, and it's tricking my brain into thinking of what it has looked like for me in New Jersey. It's made me appreciate 
a new kind of spring. One that's snowier, icier, certainly colder, and well, has also brought new opportunities like growing microgreens. There's still life and growth to be found. Thank you.